First taste of summer heat this week, and that means time to break out that sunscreen. I know. Break it out. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen every day. Dermatologists mm -hmm. say protecting your skin starts with choosing the right SPF, though. So doctors say sunscreen at a 25 to 30 SPF should be a daily routine. If you're outdoors for a longer period of time, then go with sunscreen at least 50 SPF and make sure you keep applying it regularly. You have to apply uh, about a half hour before you head out the doors. You want to reapply every two to three hours because after some period of time, it's not as protective as it, as it once was when you first apply it. Health leaders say wearing sunscreen regularly helps lower your risk of getting skin cancer. And we're airing this story because right now we're starting to really heat starting up here. Starting to ramp up heat-wise for sure. Yeah, Carson? Yeah, we're going to be in the upper 80s today, guys. The warmest day of the year so far. And yes, we will have more clouds today, but you can still get a sunburn even if there are clouds out there. That UV index for today here in North Alabama is in the very high category, similar to what it's been all week long. But that means if you don't have any sunscreen, you can get a sunburn in as little as 15 to 20 minutes. So keep that in mind if you're going to be out for an extended stretch later on today. But hey, this morning we are tracking a beautiful start to your Wednesday on the Way 31 Skycam Network. Mild temperatures, really a carbon copy of what we've had the last couple of mornings. 61 here in Hudsville, 58 in Decatur, 58 also in Gunnersville, 63 out in the Shoals. We've been watching the Shoals closely all morning long. That's where we've had the most widespread fog this morning. But it's starting to burn off now that that sun is coming up. The latest check of those visibility numbers, just over a mile, close to about a mile and a half in the Shoals right now, but everyone else is in pretty good shape. Nonetheless, if you see some of that fog, just give yourself an extra five minutes on the road this morning. Otherwise, we'll have that mix of sun and clouds today. Our forecast highs like we talked about upper 80s, 88 to be exact. And there is a weak disturbance moving through North Alabama later on today. That's going to be the source for that increase in cloud cover this morning. And there might be just enough moisture for one or two showers today. It's just a 10% chance. I really do think a lot of us will stay dry, but just don't be caught off guard if you do fall under one of those quick showers later on. We are dry this morning though on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network walking you through future radar. You see that cloud cover increasing by around lunchtime today. The air Area with the best chance to see one of those rogue showers is going to be in our western counties where it's a bit more humid. Still have some drier air in place over northeast Alabama. If we do see any showers, they are gone by around four or five o'clock this evening. Forecast highs upper 80s. I don't think we'll get to 90 today though because of that cloud cover for the first half of the day. We'll wake up to another quiet Thursday morning, mild yet again, temperatures in the mid 60s. And I do think tomorrow most of us will be back in the upper 80s, but given that we'll have more sunshine tomorrow, if you're out in Muscle Shoals, we could make a run for 90 degrees for the first time this year. That again on Thursday. Rain chances do creep back into the forecast starting Friday and going through the early part of next week. But notice it's just a 20 to 30 percent chance. No day looks like a washout, but we are watching two weather features in particular, one of which is a low that's just kind of stalled over the Carolinas as we get towards today, later today and tomorrow. Might be some moisture for a few showers over Sand Mountain as a result on Friday. Then we'll just have a classic summertime weekend, warm, muggy with a few showers and storms here and there. And then our next cold front arrives from the west Sunday night and into Monday. Then will give us our next chance for a few more showers and storms by the early part of next week. Seven day forecast looks like this. Despite the rain chances, it's staying warm. Highs in the mid to upper 80s all the way through next week with those overnight lows also staying mild in the 60s.